This is Liz. I'm a certified repair technician and today we're discussing how to fix error operating system not found or operating system missing on your Toshiba. First thing you're going to hit power and tap repeatedly on F2. Uh, and we're going to go into your BIOS settings because improperly set BIOS settings is the number one cause for this. Okay, going into your BIOS. Make sure your date and time is set correctly. Uh, just while you're in here, it causes a whole bunch of errors. Uh, but we're going to go down to advance. And we're going to go to change boot order. And now here you're going to make sure your hard drive is set first in the pr boot priority. If you look and you just can't find your hard drive, just as a shout out, this could be a sign that, sign that your hard drive is failing or failed. Next, uh, and like I said, you can move it with up and down buttons the hard drive, so it's first in the boot order. Next thing we're going to do is go to system configuration. Now see how that boot mode is grayed out? We're going to adjust this. We're going to try switching between two different boot modes to see if that's what's causing the error. Uh, so first we're going to go to security. We are going to try it with it disabled. Uh, secure boot disabled and then we're going to try to change the boot order. Sorry, oops, not the boot order, wrong thing. System configuration, sorry. And we, we're going to try switching that to CSM. Now the reason why we're going to switch, now you're going to do the reverse of whatever it's set on. So say you have it on CSM boot, you're going to switch it to UEFI with secure boot enabled. If you have it set on CSM, then, uh, sorry, if you have it set on UEFI with secure boot enabled, then switch it to CSM with secure boot disabled. Because when your computer had the operating system installed, it was set on one of these two. And what can happen is due to a power loss or a uh, glitch, it can um, forget these settings and have them set improperly. They can reset, causing a problem. And they have to be set on what they were when your operating system was installed. So try switching between these time. Each one time you switch, save and exit, restart, and see if that fixes your problem. Next, the troubleshooting method. If this doesn't make a change, you would need to try to reinstall your operating system. We have a video down below that shows you how to do it uh, because an operating system error or a getting corrupted can cause this no bootable device problem. So try that next. Next thing also you can do is try reseating your hard drive, which is just unplugging it and plugging it back in. I know, it's crazy, but it not being connected properly can cause this problem. And to my final reason, this is the saddest one of all. If you find that you've reseated it, you've done the settings and you've reinstalled it, still not working, you may need a new hard drive. Sometimes they just go. I know, it's sad. But you can always use it as an opportunity to upgrade. Uh, in the video down below, we show you how to to install a new hard drive and how some give you some advice on how to upgrade. Have any questions? Leave them down below, and we'll do our best to help you get through this. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos, then go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or some great ideas for some videos, leave them down below and one of our certified technicians will respond as quickly as possible. Anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.